Hello, in previous video we talked about the installation part of the IT Essential app, right? And while doing that we also talked about how to do it in the single instance environment also in the cluster environment as well. Now in this video we'll mainly talk about the concept behind the different service insight terms in ETC, something like the services, the KPIs or the entities. So we will try to see an example through that example. We will try to see what, what do you mean by the services actually? What do you mean by KPIs and entities? So for that I created a presentation. So let's go through that one. So let's take a very simple example. So let's say we have a streaming platform, something like Netflix or Amazon prime. Now we want to monitor this platform behavior using the Splunk ETC. Now while doing that, first of all, we need to understand what will be our services, what will be our KPIs and what will be our entities here. Now if we talk about a streaming platform, there could be a lot of business services it provides, something like mainly, mainly the video streaming or movie streaming. Apart from that, they could have like the movie onboarding as well, right? So whenever a new movie comes up, so they generally do a lot of conversion of that movie to different formats like 1080p or 720p because based on users network connectivity, they will be basically selecting the, the corresponding file to stream to that user, right? Now, if we just think about in that perspective, so generally like when we want to monitor this kind of services so when we when we'll create its services we may think about we can create a service something like this one like movie streaming service so we want to monitor whatever is going on in our movie streaming service it could be like if we are receiving any error or something we will talk about that part later but at least logically we want to understand if the movie streaming that particular stuff is working fine or not so that's one that could be one of our service over here that could be another service called the movie onboarding as well as we discussed right so while onboarding the movie if it is going smooth or not whole process because when we talk about uh, like let's say netflix and for an example their architecture is really complex because Let's say when we when a new movie comes up, so they generally have like a lot of parallel jobs. I'm talking about a very simplistic term, but Netflix architecture is really, really complex over here. And then they just convert those movies into different formats and then basically push it to different servers. So they use basically for this storing these movies and streaming from them. So Netflix own servers and basically to store the user behaviors and the recommending system they use basically the Amazon AWS. So, so to understand like where the underlying system is working fine or not. So there could be a lot of stuff you need to monitor. So when we talk about service, we need to basically map it to a business goal. Maybe that could be the one liner about the services. There could be another service, something like customer activity, like like the customer logins, how how the system is working, like when the in the peak hours, so those kind of stuff. So if you see these services, whatever we have seen it here, right? So all are mapped to business goals. So that's why these these are called the business service. Now apart from that, you may want to monitor your database as well right you may want to monitor your web servers as well how they are responding you may want to monitor your network devices as well correct so these are called the technical service even though we cannot see them as a business goal but they they will come under the technical umbrella over here so this is also we can monitor so hopefully we get an idea about the service. Now when we talk about KPI, maybe this concept will make more sense. So this is our services in HC. Maybe when we will design the service for our own applications or our own system, maybe we will think in these terms only. Okay. Now each service will have 
something called a service health score which will basically tell us like how healthy that particular service is whether it is all are fine or not or every or if, if there is something error or not so if you already used it see you may find like those services health score according to the service health score the color of the service will be changing over here right so let's say for mobile mobile streaming service it maybe the health score is showing up in the ui as 87 we'll see in later videos how to see those health service health score and all for we maybe for mobile onboarding it is showing let's say in 64 maybe it is uh, we can set those settings as well like the color settings as well in it see something like this right so service has some health score now how that health score is calculated for that we need to understand the kpis so now let's talk about the kpis now let's say when we talk about the mobile streaming service what could be our kpis now for this particular service as i said there is a service health score which is basically driven by the kpis so what is kpi so kpis are basically the main searches so they, they basically run in definite intervals and they basically pulls the data which is required to calculate the service health score now before we reach to that technical term so let's talk about in a very simplistic term what kpis would be so when we try to monitor the movie streaming service the movie streaming service here so what could be our kpis the KPIs could be like, let's say we want to determine the average streaming hours in last 24 hours. Why? Because maybe from yesterday to today, the average streaming hours drastically dropped. It may happen that our services was down or there was less number of users logged in. Could be anything, but at least we get an idea about this particular service, right? We can have a KPI something like this one as well. Number of errors in last five minutes, because while streaming the movie, if there is some error, we will be alerted then and there only because we can create alerts from the KPI as well. We can fix it before like more number of users are facing similar kind of issue, right? Now, when you talk about the movie onboarding service, we can think about this kind of KPIs like the time taken to convert the clip to different resolution like 1080p or 720p, something like that. Or it could be number of errors as well while the conversion, right? Now this this is the a classic scenario where we can break this onboarding movie service to a sub services as well like um, uh, the services for 1080p 720p something 240p something like that and for each sub service we can track like how the time taken to convert to that particular resolution and then the errors or some other kpis we can define on our own right so so this is another concept called like a service can be dependent on another service as well okay so so this is the KPI is related to the movie onboarding and for the customer activity we can think of it like the number of logins right the number of errors in last five minutes customers are facing or the number of customers as well right because if the number of logins are increasing or decreasing drastically we may need to take certain actions right so if say if say it is the increasing that means we may need to look about our infrastructure whether it will be able to support or not or if it is decreasing drastically we may need to see why it is decreasing over there right so this kind of insights you need to basically analyze when you will be defining your kpi similarly for database as well we can do something like the average query execution time or number of the query failures in last five minutes or other failures as well right because when you talk about database it is more about the query performance there right so because when while designing kpi we need to remember one thing right how it will affect the service we have defined there because the kpi search results will directly impact the service health score here similarly for web as well we can talk about the CPU utilization or memory utilization as well, right? Even for database also, we can talk about the CPU utilization and memory utilization as well. 
so a same kpi can be applied to lot of other stuff as well but maybe the query will be something different and for network also we can talk about the latency or the errors as well right so these are all the kpis we can think of it could be there could be more kpis as well based on your need and what you want to analyze or monitor so based on that you need to create your kpis here and each kpi has actually a threshold so that will basically determine whether the kpi will be red green or amber something like that right so that threshold you can either set it manually or you can do it through the machine learning one this is called adaptive thresholding we'll see that more in the in the latter videos so based on the values basically the health of this kpis so this overall service health score will be determined and then maybe you can set alerts which will based on that alerts maybe you can want to take certain actions over here so we understood what services are we understood what kpis are now what is entity entity is basically the it object or basically we can say it's the it component which is required to deliver a it service so generally it's a, it's a host so let's say for this guy this this particular movie streaming service the data is coming from host 1 or host 2 so generally if we talk about any very crude technical term so these are all the system from where you are getting your data it could be host it could be database servers it could be web servers it could be microservices as well or it could be any cloud service as well okay so for this one we can we can see the data is coming from this host one or host two from the database part we can think about the data is coming from the db1 or db2 okay or for web it will be like two different web servers the data is coming from so this is the entities layer we are talking about so entity is basically the it component which is actually required to deliver a it service here okay so so these are the key concept of services kpis and entity and if you see like they are very much interrelated with each other so when we will be designing the services or kpis because entities designing will be mostly very straight forward but when we will talking about the services and the kpis you need to understand like what kind of business process you want to monitor and how you want to monitor it maybe this two question will basically give you the answer of the number of services or the number of kpis you want to create and monitor in etsy okay so in from next video onwards we will try to create this entities kpis and services in our it essential workshop and see how it works okay so hopefully this video was helpful see you in the next video